the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, says it has concluded plans to resume continuous voters' registration in an effort to give persons who were not registered during the last registration phase to do so ahead of the Edo Anondo state gubernatorial elections. The chairman of the commission, Mahmoud Yakubu, made this known at the second quarterly consultative meeting the commission and civil society organizations in Abuja. Yakubu, who encouraged CSOs to submit the application for election monitoring on time, appealed to them to partner with INEC to mobilize fresh registrants for the exercise. The commission has concluded plans to resume the continuous voter registration in the two states to enable eligible citizens who are not registered voters to do so. Similarly, those who are registered voters also have the opportunity to transfer their registration from other states of the Federation to Edo and Ondo states, or from one location to another within the states. Lost or damaged voters' cards will be replaced during the exercise. The CVR will take place simultaneously in the two states from Monday, 27th May 2024 to Wednesday, 5th uh, June 2024 from 9 in the morning to 3 p.m. daily, including the weekend. That the CVR is only open to new registrants and those who seek to transfer their registration. Persons who are registered as voters should not attempt to register again as double or multiple registration is illegal. The Commission has decided to conduct the registration at ward level and our state headquarters instead of the local government offices and a few designated centers as was the case in the past. This means that there will be 192 ward registration centers in Edo State and 203 registration centers in Ondo State in addition to our state offices in Benin City and Akure, making a total of 397 walk-in registration centers in the two states. The Commission therefore appeals to civil society organizations to join us in mobilizing prospective registrants for the exercise, particularly on the need to register early and not wait until the deadline approaches when the registration centers will be inundated by 11th hour registrants. As we inch closer to election day in Edo State, it is also imperative to remind civil society organizations on the need to submit your applications for election observation in earnest, along with the required supporting documents and a realistic number of individual observers. Doing so will enable the Commission to produce and deliver the identity cards for observers in good time. Even though the Commission is independent, they seem to partially depend on us for collaboration and cooperation. We promise that we, we will fulfill all the demands you have made of us and that this relationship should be strengthened and continue growing. On behalf of all the CSOs here, I want to thank the Commission for welcoming us.